Today we're gonna take a look at Ravage, a blender add-on that helps you with materials, texturing, and shading. It makes PBR texturing in Blender much more efficient and it gives you the option to create your own nodes with the node editor. In addition, it gives you the ability to use the add-on's workflow or combine the two for more flexibility. It actually employs a layer-based structure to make rearranging nodes which can quickly turn into a hassle. To elaborate more, Ravage is essentially a simplified Quixel mixer, Substance Painter or any other digital painting software. Through Quixel Bridge, it provides a layer-based texturing access to local and online libraries, which is really good. Now, let's take a look at its interface. After selecting the mesh for which you want to create materials, first you have to save the blend file to continue working. Following that, of course you will need to create a new material for your mesh. Then you will go to the section where three control panels are accessible. The first one for controlling materials. You'll be able to find the material list in addition to names. You can create a new one, move it up and down or delete it. The second panel is for layer control where you can add a new PBR texture, filter, user, folder layers or you can duplicate it. You can also preview mask, layer and master channels. In addition to the ability to toggle normal data, open the UV editor and delete layers. The third panel is for settings. You'll be able to see the layer, filter, mask, vector, baking and material settings. If you are just getting started with this add-on, you will most likely find it complicated. So this information can confuse you if you are a beginner, but this should not be a big of a deal. So let's get started with what you can find after adding a layer. You will discover some interesting features, such as a material library in which you can add a previous material or texture from your PC and then begin working with it. After that, you will be able to see and interact with the channels you've added where you can change the texture and the blending mode and add a filter. And then you can start adding masks and vectors in addition to baking your textures. As an example of this add-on's workflow, you can add a layer that's metal for example, and your second layer can be a red paint, then you're gonna add a mask to the first layer and decide that you want metal to be appearing on the edges. And here you go, a simple example of how Ravage can help you speed up and simplify your workflow. Now, let's go to the specifics of what is useful about this add-on. So far, we've established that Ravage is a layer-based texturing add-on, but it doesn't stop there. What's unique about this add-on is that it offers intuitive workflows, which means you'll be able to use it and the note editor together, which is really interesting. Another reason I like it so much is that it is fast, quick, and efficient, with quick library access and fast access panels and performance optimization. So you don't even need a powerful PC to work with it. The built-in texturing tools are simply amazing because they significantly speed up tasks that would otherwise take a long time to set up. Also, if you have been struggling with baking lately, well, with Ravage, you can forget all about that because it simplifies baking and makes it easier for you to enjoy your experience. I mean, your texturing experience. It also gives you external integration with Asset Ninja and Quixel Bridge, as well as any asset library that you want. Finally, Ravage includes a number of custom node groups, which are then used throughout the workflow with the ability to be extended. The baked maps can also be used with custom masks. This add-on obviously will not provide you with a Substance Painter experience, but at least it's gonna be very good and beneficial for many tasks when it comes to texture painting and texturing inside your Blender projects. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.